We begin tonight with a brand new grocery store coming to Buffalo's east side. It will be owned by Bangladeshi community members and represents this cultural community's growing presence here in the Queen City. The U.S. Census reports more than 100,000 Bangladesh natives have made New York State their home, and it's estimated 1,000 of these families have put roots down here in Buffalo, opening at least 50 new businesses, many of these on the east side. 7 News anchor reporter Taylor Epps sat down with several Bangladeshi businessmen to shed light on this fast growing community and their efforts to make Buffalo a better place. We are thinking it will be a milestone for the Buffalo. A milestone investment in Buffalo's Broadway Fillmore neighborhood. In the next six to eight months, Hassan Murad plans to turn this space into a grocery store. Why do you want to bring this to the community? This community needs it. Realtors tell me this was originally a super duper grocery store back in the 60s. Most recently, a church ran it, but it's been vacant here for the last three to four years. As you can see, this is completely empty. The plan is to turn this into a grocery store, banquet hall, and restaurant space to cater to the growing Bangladeshi population. People moving here every day, before pandemic and after pandemic, the whole scenery of the Buffalo is completely changed. So we think that they deserve more. You've probably seen other businesses pop up over the years, like this one called Polly, another Bengali-run store at the corner of Bailey and Walden. Whatever is people is doing need here, we try to like uh, help our community. Helping the community goes beyond making sure there's food on the shelves. It's providing jobs and housing or lending a helping hand. We learn how to get together. We know how to fight disaster, and we did. Another Bengali business, Lovebirds on Grider, recently received an award from Governor Kathy Hochul for their rescue efforts during the blizzard. So I came down to Lovebirds to meet with a few Bengali community members. The restaurant's owner, a software engineer, a businessman in real estate, members of local boards, and more. They all tell me many people have come here to Buffalo from New York City because it's so much cheaper, but they stay here to develop and build the community. Our brother and other community they are thinking, oh, Bengali is taking our everything, and they are they are buying block by block. All the money come to the Buffalo and Buffalo economy. Mohammed Osman is a board member for the International Institute. He's starting a campaign called Bridge the Gap: Two Communities as One. And we are working with MBF. We are working with Buffalo Fathers. We are working with Buffalo Peacemakers. Bridging that gap is so important because they say people are getting the wrong idea about the Bengali community. A lot of people. Like our other community, they are thinking, oh, Bengali come Buffalo and they don't need to pay the taxes. The city is giving them free money. No. What's it like when people mistake you for refugees? It's, it's kind of hard because, you know, we all immigrate to this country and going through the immigration process, we spend a lot of money. That makes me mad. I'm not refusing. We're building a Buffalo. With more people moving in, they hope connecting with other communities will help them tackle the language barrier, keep Buffalo safe, and grow our neighborhoods. We love to work with others. I cannot build Buffalo myself. We have to get together, work with the black community, work with non-Muslim community. We're from different country. We build Buffalo. And that continues right here on Broadway, and they tell me there are many more projects to come all around western New York. In the meantime, if you're out and about and see someone in the Bangladeshi community, they tell me a simple hi goes a long way. Taylor Epps, 7 News, Buffalo.